And, uh, we're here today requesting a, um, a uh, conditional use for a building that exceeds 35 feet in height. It's that provision we're here. Also want to point out that um, reading the staff report reminded me that I had failed to request the use of bob wire in the truck court area behind the building. So I'm going to have, if it's uh, appropriate to do that, I'm going to add that to our conditional use request and I'll show you where that is in a moment. So, um, so, we, um, so this is uh, this is a fulfillment center, actually a distribution that has um, approximately 600 employees on a non-peak up to about 1,000, 1,100 during the peak season. Peak season is typically October through, through the holiday season through the end of the year. Um, the building's been positioned back away from Skipper Road as far as we could actually move it and make it work. And all the trucks are at the back of the building. So all the truck doors faced it, faced uh, toward the west, which is Interstate 75 at the top of the draw. <coughs> so all and all the truck parking that's uh, planned now is back in that area as well. But high burn is a landscape pretty extensively all along Skipper Road. And the, the four foot high is referenced from the elevation of Skipper Road, not from the existing ground where it's being built, but from Skipper Road. We're doing good to build a four foot high berm in a six foot hole. So we've, we've changed that grade and we've got the top of the berm, the earth part is four feet above the road level of Skipper Road. Um, and then it has plantings on top of that. I'm Danny Clucky, live on 2611 Walden Road in Lincoln. Uh, I'm not really, a, don't really have any objections except of traffic that, that should have been taken care of when the when the Sardis Church Road interchange was built because when the Sardis Church Road is completed to Highway 247 that's going to be a primary route from North Macon to, to Providence Air Force Base. The only thing I wanted to say was you know this is you know we're not going to have a long-standing residential area and these residents out there do have concerns. And so long as we are comfortable with the fact that these concerns have at least been addressed and things have been modified as far as traffic and safety is concerned, um, you know, we've, progress is progress. And this is a great opportunity for Bibb County, but we don't need to do anything that's going to um, harm those who are already here. So everything that we do that can, can ensure their safety, I think is what we need to do. And I think that traffic study will hopefully show that you've done all you can do to make sure that that happens. 